Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminolly, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, everything I'm going to be reading in April. So April is a month I'm super excited for this year. Not only is it my birthday month, but I've also got three events I'm going to be taking part in, all of which are absolutely fantastic. So I will talk to you about those three events in this video and also talk to you about some buddy reads I'm going to be doing and a group read and things like that. I'm taking a slightly different approach this month. So in line with my kind of new guidelines to myself of not putting too much stuff in my TBR, I've got like a locked in TBR, if you like, of eight books that I'm going to be reading, which cover all three of those events and um, some you know, like buddy reads and things like that as well. I've also got a separate stack of books, which is a further like pile of possibilities for Old School April, which is one of the events I'm taking part in. Um, so Old School April has just tons and tons of different prompts. I wanted to have a few different options to, to choose from for those. Um, so yeah, I've got a, a few separate things in a pile of possibilities, not a locked in TBR as well. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, let's start with the TBR then. So let's start with my uh, group read this month. So um, I do a group read every month open to members of my Patreon or my YouTube channel memberships program. Um, this month we're going to be reading The Ritual uh, by Adam Neville. So Adam Neville, a British horror author, only read one book by him so far, I think, uh, Cunning Folk, which I thought was great. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. People seem to really, really like this one. Uh, and my, my members chose this one as the one we were get the, the book for our group read this month. Um, so if you want to take part in that, there'll be a link in the description to the video to my link tree where you can find links to my YouTube channel memberships uh, and also to my Patreon should you want to sign up and join one of those and join us for this group read. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I've also got uh, a buddy read. So I'm doing a buddy read with one of my patrons, MJ, this month. So we are reading uh, Strangers When We Meet by Evan Hunter. I just picked up this lovely vintage edition of it from my local library. Um, Evan Hunter, my favourite author. I'm also doing a project where I'm trying to read all of the books by him that I haven't read yet. Um, but MJ had this on her Kindle and wanted to buddy read it as well. So um, it works perfectly for me. It ticks off two boxes this month and I'm sure it'll be fantastic because Evan Hunter's the best writer ever. Um, another buddy read uh, will be Edith's Diary by Patricia Highsmith. So doing an ongoing buddy read, buddy read of all of Patricia Highsmith's books. Uh, with Anne from the channel and Novella. So really looking forward to this one. I haven't had a bad experience yet with a with a Highsmith book. And we are, we've we read, we've been doing it since the start of last year. And we're doing at least one a month. So we've read a fair few. Um, there's been some I haven't liked as much as others. Uh, but I've enjoyed all of them in, in some way. So yeah, really looking forward to that. Um, right, that brings us to events then. Um, so I've talked a little bit about Old School April already. The other two events I'm going to be taking part in this month are Giant Ape Rill. <laughs> Let me say that again. Giant Ape Rill. So a reading event dedicated to reading books about giant apes, uh, which is being run by uh, Roy from the channel Roy Reads Anything. I think it's just such a great title and concept. It's not limited to giant apes, though. You can read books about other giant monster type creatures. So I'm going to be reading uh, Gojiro by Mark Jacobson, which is supposed to be a really sweet, charming book about Godzilla um, or something like that. I don't really know much about it. It was recommended by um, Troy Tradup a while ago and I bought a copy back then, but I haven't got around to reading it yet and it's perfect for perfect for uh, Giant April. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then it's also Trans Girl April this month uh, being run by, uh, say, Kevy. Um, so a uh, an event dedicated to reading books by trans and non-binary authors. Really enjoyed it last year when I did it. Uh, so I've got a couple of books for that, um, both of which are books I really, really want to read anyway, so it works perfectly. Uh, so I've got Brain Worms by Alison Rumfit. Uh, Alison Rumfit's book, uh, Tell Me I'm Worthless, was my favourite horror book of last year, so really looking forward to reading Brain Worms. Uh, and then I've also got Cuckoo uh, by Gretchen Falcon Martin, which I've been sent an advanced copy of by Titan Books. So I read uh, Manhunt by Gretchen Falcon Martin, I think the year before last. Um, I thought it was quite very disturbing, but excellent. So really looking forward to reading Cuckoo. Um, so yes, we'll see what those, that is like. So those both work for Trans Girl April. And then the other thing that's in my like locked-in TBR is The Wind Through the Keyhole by Stephen King. 
So I'm doing this read through of all of the King books I haven't read yet. I'm currently reading, I'm nearly finished uh, The Dark Tower. So the final book in the Dark Tower series. Um, the Wind Through the Keyhole is kind of midway through the Dark Tower series, if that makes sense. But it was published after the final book in the series. So seven books in, in the regular series. Um, this is like an interlude, if you like. So it's book 4.5. And someone recommended to me that rather than reading them in chronological order, I read them in publication order. Um, so I will be diving into this one um, in April. Right, so let's talk about old school April now. So as I said, there are tons of different prompts for this. Um, I've, had to, I've got my laptop on my on my lap now to, to help me um, because some of the books I've already talked about work for old school April. So I will show those books again and tell you uh, what prompt they cover for old school April. I haven't by any means got all of the old school April prompts uh, covered. There are dozens of them. Old school April, I forgot to say, uh, is the brainchild of Kelsey from the channel Slime and Slashers. So as a title, suggests it's a, a um, an event dedicated to um, nostalgia so you know reading books watching movies because it's a watchathon as well as a readathon um, that you know evoke feelings of nostalgia in us so yeah loads of different prompts so let me go through um, what I'm going to be reading for that and so firstly then so covering the um, uh, reading rainbow prompt which is to read a book by a diverse author um, or a book with a diverse uh, cast of characters so we've got uh, Cuckoo by Gretchen Falcon Martin again. Gretchen Falcon Martin, of course, is trans. Um, next up then, um, Fiona's Diary by Patricia Highsmith. Sorry, Fiona's Diary. Edith's Diary by Patricia Highsmith. Um, so this works for the Buffy prompt, which is to read a book by a woman or with a female protagonist. Um, next then, we have uh, Freddy's Nightmares. Read a book that will give you nightmares. Uh, so for that one, I'm going with my uh, my book club pick, The Ritual by Adam Neville. Um, next then, uh, read... Oh, so I've got two. This ticks off two prompts. Um, so uh, Brain Worms by Alison Rumfit works for the neon prompt because it's got neon on the cover. Um, or uh, the Britpop slash British Invasion prompt, read a book written by a British author. Um, the Adam Neville book would work for that as well, to be honest, and and other books I've read in this month too. Um, right, so that's all the ones from... Oh, no, sorry, hold on. Uh, so Gojiro works for the uh, Larger Than Life prompt, um, which is to read a book with over 300 pages. Um, Gojiro also, obviously, Larger Than Life. And then finally, from my original TBR, Strange Story We Meet by Evan Hunter works for the Retro Vintage prompt, so read a book published before 2005. So I've gone with the oldest book I'm reading this month, I think. Uh, so this came out, when did it originally come out? In the 50s, I think. Yeah, 1958. Okay, so that's the stuff from my original TBR that works for Old School April. Let's dive into the other things I've got then. So I'm using this as an excuse to read some of the trashy series that I enjoy so much. Um, so I will be reading uh, Executioner, or maybe reading, because this is a pile of possibilities, but I think I probably will get through most of these. Um, so Executioner book 22, um, Hawaiian Hellground by uh, Don Pendleton, which is for the yearbook prompt, read a book from the year or decade you were born. Um, so I, hard to believe I know, was born in the 1970s. Um, this book came out in 1975, so just a couple of years after I was born, in fact. Um, also going to be reading uh, The Survivalist Book 13, Pursuit, uh, by Jerry Ahern. So this works for the Time Warp prompt, which is to read a book set in the 80s or 90s or a book with a nostalgic vibe. So this book came out in the 80s. It wasn't, it's not actually set in the 80s. So the beginning of the series is set in the 80s. This, this book is set hundreds of years in the future, um, but it's got such an absolute 80s vibe, as you can probably tell from that cover, that I thought it was perfect for that prompt. Um, next up then, uh, some more trash. Um, so the Witches series by uh, James Dark. So one of the prompts is Teen Witch. So read a book with magic or witchcraft. Uh, so I've got three books I still need to read in the Witches series. So I'll probably try and read at least one of these. Um, so we have uh, book six, The Killing. Book seven, The Feud. And book eight, The Plague. 
So really looking forward to diving back into the world of the witches again. Um, next up then, uh, we have, uh, so the property is True Life, reading a non-fiction book. Um, and this is a really nostalgic book for me as well, because this is a book by an actor who I was a huge fan of when I was in my teens back in the 80s. Um, so that is If Chins Could Kill by uh, Bruce Campbell. His kind of memoirs of being a B-movie actor. Loads of cool stuff in here, I think, about the making of the Evil Dead films and things like that. So really, really looking forward to reading that. Um, two Kindle books next then so one of the prompts is a VCR reader book with old technology on the cover or in the story so I'm going to read the uh, fifth book I think it is either the fifth or the sixth book in the Vinyl Detective series by Andrew Cartmel, which is low action. So I've read all the books in the series up to this point. It's a fantastic series. So it's kind of a cosy mystery series about this guy who, for like for a job, finds rare records for people. So that's why it's called the Vinyl Detective. So he, he seeks out rare records. He's hired by people to, to track them down. And invariably, there ends up being some sort of mystery involved as well. They're just really, really fun books. I can't recommend them highly enough. And I'm really looking forward to reading my again because I'm not very bummed for a while um, and then also there's a Goosebumps prompt so I've got a stack of Goosebumps books um, on my Kindle so I'm going to read um, It Came From The Sink oh sorry It Came From Beneath The Sink um, by R.L. Stein for that prompt so I do quite enjoy the Goosebumps books I'm too old to have enjoyed them as a kid if that makes sense because they came out after I was a kid um, but they are quite fun reads um, okay two more things to go then so for the Toy Story prompt uh, which is to read a book featuring toys or dolls. Um, I'm going to read, or may read, I keep saying I am going to read, I may read um, The Shadow Glass by Josh Winning, which also has a lovely retro vibe. Um, so this is about someone basically who's like Jim Henson, so who's created loads of cool creatures. Um, I think he dies and his son um, like inherits his collection of creatures and it turns out there's something magical about them. I think that's essentially the, the concept. So yeah, looking forward to giving that a try should I get to it. Um, and then finally, uh, a, the final prompt I'm going to try and do um, is Willow, which is to read a fantasy book. Um, so I have this um, Solo Levering, Leveling Book 1 by Chu Gong, uh, which is a lit RPG. Um, so that's a book that is that, that is designed to feel like the experience, experience of playing an online uh, kind of role-playing game. Um, so an, an, a genre I'm really interested in trying. Uh, it's a YA book, as, uh, sorry, not a YA book, it's a light novel as well. So light novels are kind of like like Japanese and, and South Korean YA, so books that are you know fairly quick and easy to read. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to giving this a try. It, it's a, a, a style of book that really intrigues me. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get to that one as well. So that is um, my uh, various reading events and buddy reads and group reads and things like that covered. Um, do let me know um, if you're taking part in, it, in any of the events I've talked about. Um, let me know if you've read any of the books I've shown and what you thought of them. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.